Hi guys, this is Jay here. I am setting up my new Erin Condren Vertical 2021 Planner and I am just getting a lot of the notes pages set up and um, I, I'm basing it off of my 20, my this year I guess you, 2020 planner. Uh, what, you, what did work for me and what didn't work for me is what I'm going to be setting up and I decided to make a goals page in the front for tracking my goals monthly and then also to set up like a um, pro like a house project page because there's a lot of things that I need to fix around my house that I've been putting off so I had that set up last year and it I never got to any of those things so I'm going to try really hard this year because we now have more projects. <laughs> And I set up a cleaning chart because that is something I want to get better at around my house. I, before I never really had a lot of time to do that. Now I'm trying to make more time to keep a cleaner environment because it really helps with my mental space. And um, just more so cleaning um, weekly, monthly, you know, reminders for like a biannual uh, yearly type of cleaning chart. Nothing too detailed, just something to prompt me. And then I'm going to make a fun spread for hiking goals. You know, 2020, we didn't get to travel anywhere and the, you know, because of the pandemic and that's going to carry on into 2021 and maybe 2022. So I decided to get some hiking done around my local area, which I've never done before because it's usually really hot here 90% of the year. So I just, I, I prefer hiking in areas with a cooler climate, but, uh, and I like the scenery better, but I figured, you know, why not check out my local, um, state parks and things like that, or even the, um, neighboring state parks that are within a day's drive so I'm setting that up and then I'm going to set up a, um, a date ideas page because again um, due to the pandemic you know we can't really go out and eat as we used to at restaurants and socialize like that so and I also am dealing with some uh, food issues so I think creating non-food related date ideas will help <laughs> But really, there are some steps that you need to do if you're trying to figure out what what to set up on your pages. So that's really what you need to do first, is decide what you want for each page to hold. And once you figure that out, um, you'll design the page. So you can look around like on, you know, on YouTube and Pinterest for I ideas on what to use those pages for and try them out you know this year will be the first year if you don't use them don't set them up next year set something else up that you will use um, and then you'll see that I am flipping through a lot of my stickers and things like that and what I'm trying to do is get an idea of how many stickers I have to incorporate into my designs I um, am setting up my quote fixer upper page and I'm calling the each project uh, a long-term goal and each project is going to be set up by room or station in the house so you know living room dining room um, so my studio uh, the porches maybe even the yard or the garage so I wanted to 
make sure I had enough stickers that were the same to set up for each space. And that's what you're seeing me do here.
here I'm flipping through my sticker book again. I'm going to start setting up the cleaning schedule on the right hand side of the um, planner. <laughs> I was going to call it a calendar, but no, it's a planner. So I was looking for stickers that could mimic the style of the ones I have on the left side. Because I wanted, when I opened the planner up full or flatly, I guess you want to call it, um, I wanted them to not be the same on each page, but look similar so it doesn't um, look as jarring to me. At least that's how I feel about it. You know, you may want something completely different on your other page. So I chose to stick with the, I think it's the Recollections sticker book. So they're similar in... I'm using like the, um, you know, three across, um, I think four down, and I'm going to outline or give these stickers a drop shadow and to kind of make them stand out a little bit more than what they are because they are white stickers on white paper. <laughs> so I, in, all in all, I like how this total, uh, both pages, this two spreads turned out and they're not something that I have to continuously keep up with and I like that because the odds of me like every day going back to this is not going to happen but you know when I need a reminder I could just flip to it and then what I'll probably do is put a paper clip or um, sticky tab to um, on each one of these pages uh, to remind myself that something is on those pages and that's a good way to you know prompt yourself to turn back and look at it just every now and then when you, you see that sticking up and eventually you'll um, get used to that but what I'm doing here is I'm labeling each month on this on the sticker itself and then after that I'm going to go in and um, write a general list of, you know, house chores that need to be done in that month. Um, there's a few things like uh, putting weed and feed out on the lawn that doesn't, you don't do that every month, but it's a seasonal thing, or getting our termite inspection done. That happens just um, twice a year for us, and, you know, little things like that that are not part of your routine are really helpful on this this chart here. So um, I did put things like, you know, mop, sweep, dust on here just to kind of remind myself, yep, you've got to do this at certain times. And then I put a color code key at the bottom of this page with using some markers and then I color in each one of the bubbles to remind myself, like, is this a weekly, daily, or monthly chore sort of deal?
for this next page setup, I'm filling out our local hiking goals. And I wanted to really try and use some of the Erin Condren stickers that were in the back of the planner. I never really use them. I, I'm not a fan of the, I guess, muted colors, but I did like these. So I said, you know what? Pick some out and, and incorporate them into your spread. And so I figured for each month, we would try to hike in one local area. And I'm going to put the name of the state park or hiking trail and the length of the trail down for each month. And when if we do get to go and accomplish it, I'll write down how many miles we really did hike. And I hope this will motivate us to spend a little bit more time outdoors. So for this next spread on the right side, I'm going to set up some date night ideas and I'm going to try again, just like I did with the, the last two pages um, that were on the same layout, I'm going to try and use 
similar stickers to have them kind of flow together. So I'm going to reuse some Erin Condren stickers. So this next spread I am setting up as gift ideas and for other people in my wish list. And of course I misspell wish, <laughs> but uh, just use some correction tape to fix that. But I, you know, I always have an idea of what I want to get somebody at random times of the year and then when it comes to time to actually buying them the gift for their birthday or Christmas, I forget about what it was. Um, so this will help me keep track of that and when people ask me what I want for my birthday or Christmas I'll have a list right here so I won't really have to sit there and think about oh I don't know or let me get back to you but I am decorating this with gingerbread men and candy canes and stockings since it's the week of Christmas in 2020 right now I decided I would set a theme up like this but you could always use just um, like boxes of presents, gift baskets, things like that to decorate this with, or party balloons, um, anything to make it festive, um, birthday cakes, that would be cute, cookies, candy, or like happy birthday banner or something like that. So yeah, this is really simple. I'm just using some brush tip um, markers. They're not Tombos, but they're very similar to them, and honestly, I I wouldn't recommend them for doing this type of project. They're just the ones I happen to have on hand right now with this, the specific colors that I need. And I knew they weren't going to really bleed through the um, paper like some of my alcohol markers do. So I decided to just stick with these and keep it simple with a few colors and not go too crazy. And that's another thing um, when you're designing your layout, try to keep your colors to just a handful. Um, like I have red, brown, green, and I think that's it for these. I don't think I brought in any other colors. And if you want to count the white and the black ink I'm going to use to outline these, um, they help create the negative space that I don't color in. So I, I think these little guys turned out pretty cute. <laughs>
so I created these great little script stickers for the month, every month, and one weekly kit here. And this uh, set is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested in ordering it. Um, I'll have the link listed down below. But they're really helpful because I am not good at writing. My handwriting is... Eh, um, I can only do certain styles and when I want a more cursive-y, scripty style of writing, I'll do stickers instead so it's more uniform and I'm not having to like erase and start over again. So I picked these uh, to use for my uh, monthly goal boxes and I'm going to have these set up in the begin in the front of the planner. But this is it guys and if you really like this plan with me set up on the notes, please subscribe to my channel and give us a like and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!